Hey guys, this is Abby, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this rabbit run. So my main goal was to use what we had. So I first started off with these 1x2 rough sawn lumber pieces, and I first had my dad cut them into 29 inch length. And then once I had 20 of those pieces, he ran them down the table saw to make them one by one. So then I had 40 one by one, 29 inch length pieces. Then I went to the drill press and drilled a hole in each of them, just on one side. And then I started drilling the frames together and I just overlapped each pieces so then it would be a 28 inch square inside of it. So here's what it looks like. Then I took 2x2 two two grids that were zip tied together and I put it inside of the frames which fit really well and then I started to zip tie the grids onto the frame which was a pretty easy process except that I put the ends of the zip ties on the wrong side so I ended up having to go through all of the frames and turning the zip ties from the outside to the inside of the frame which was super annoying so that was the biggest mistake of this whole thing. And I used grids because I just had a ton of extra black grids that I haven't been using lately. So after I put three or four zip ties on each side, I go through with these clamps and tighten them all up to make sure they're really tight. And then I just take some scissors and cut the ends of the zip ties off leaving a little bit just in case I need to tighten them a little bit more later. Then I go ahead and make nine more panels so then I have ten panels for this pen. Now it's time to put it together so I first I took everything outside so then I would have a lot more space and I took the hinges and these little hinges I ordered online and I just started drilling them in with these little screws. So I just first started on one side and then drilled them into the other one. And I did rotate which side the hinges would be on, so then it would fold up. But for me to have this nice two by three rectangle, I had to make one of the panels face a different way so it doesn't fold up perfectly, which is kind of annoying, but I guess it's okay. And then I just have these eye hooks on the end where they meet up so then it's more secure and that is all i have done so far this was pretty inexpensive all i had to buy was the hinges and the screws and uh some extra zip ties which was only about 20 dollars maybe and i'm not extremely happy with the way this turned out it's kind of heavy and annoying to do and I still need to make a cover of some sort, which I don't really know how I'm gonna make yet. But I really made it so then I can take them out, get some nice pictures. And it was just also a fun project to work on. I just like making stuff like this, so it was a fun thing to do as well. But for now, I will just put a sheet on top as a cover, but I do really want to work on a cover sometime soon. Yeah guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this, even though it's not the perfect thing in the world and it's kind of heavy, but I just used what I had and I can always disassemble it and then I'll have all my grids just fine and I can reuse the hinges again. It's really not a big deal. Yeah guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye!